Hello everyone, Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be <coughs> weekly general tarot reading for Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising. So four cards spread, the first one that shows up the topic of the week, we have here the Sun card. Then second one shows up the core of the situation for Aries, that is going to be the King of Cups. Third card expresses up challenges that one needs to overcome. This is going to be the chariot. And last but not least, we do have the guidance that Tarot has for you. This is the Queen of Swords. So, <clears throat> for Aries, this is going to be a week. Uh, for what it seems with those three cards, by taking off uh, for now the Queen of Swords <coughs> aside. For Aries, this is going to be a week sitting on in front of a, a very big challenge if I may say it that way as well or a very big task that they will have uh, how can I place it they, they will have the um, the doubt that they will do it well and that they will in general success in it and this is why we do have these couple of cards here for Aries we have a person who is around you someone like a father father figurine it could be your father or it could be a very good friend of yours it could be as well your boss etc etc and this person all that he is doing is uh, giving you the courage to move on and to really try it out and see how it's gonna go no different than for example <clears throat> a person who is trying to who wants to apply into a uh, um, into a university for a very high demanding uh, specialization there and uh, that the um, the seats for that specializations are very restricted what I mean is that there are very few and there are so many candidates and that person has the uh, reluctancy you know should they make it or not etc etc so this is a kind of challenge that you will face during the week this is as far as far as the event goes so it will be a tough week as i said but as we have the uh, chariot over here this is the challenge card all right the chariot does points that if you are ready to do whatever it's needed because you know some of the actions demanded in order for you to initiate here is going to be uh, how can I place it above your expectations in the term of that you you may say to yourself oh my god why well, have to be so hard you know but the chariot card does promises you triumph if you are ready to make um, heroic actions all right if you have the determination the iron will um, <clears throat> And not only that, but as well the, the convictions uh, for yourself that you do deserve that success and that victory. Charging on forward, guys, uh, you will, you know, you will not just succeed into that initiation and into that task, but as well the chariot card promises you that you will end up in a leadership position over a, uh, a, a collective force. That could be a team in your work, you know, or it could be that you will be uh, the most important person in your social circle as well, etc, etc. So, uh, this reading here points as well with the Sun card, is that you need to keep the things simple and you, you need Aries to align, um, not to align, but to allow the situation to unfold naturally, which means that you need to, to push that task agenda regardless very systematically uh, you need to approach it that way with a, a well-formed strategy of how you're going to move on forward and how you're going to deal with every single chore that is coming in your way regarding it and this is uh, this will be you will be helped by that guy as a matter of fact the whole task and the whole project is going to come from him because the king of cups uh, as a core of a situation very often come as a person who offers you a, a who gives you a very tempting offer all right an offer that you it is very hard to refuse because it's awesome <clears throat> it is something you have waited for a quite a long time but in the same time it does require a lot of effort it does require a lot of time it does require a lot of resources <clears throat> from your behalf and I'm not talking about material resources here so um, moreover this offer as well is gonna help you to uh, reach a good terms with the people around you alright so if you had some um, 
bad bad conditions and bad terms with uh, colleagues of yours and if you if you had some fights recently with your family etc etc that particular offer somehow is going to stabilize all those relationships and last we go to <clears throat> the queen the queen of swords which is the guidance that you need to follow here all right so the guidance from the Queen of Swords is that you need to draw from the poignant experience you had in the past. So look in your past and um, <clears throat> analyze what kind of similar situations you had, you know, what kind of similar tasks you had uh, in which you or the people that worked in failed, all right? Because this, these past failures of you or the people you have worked with, all right, regardless either they are going to be co-workers or relationship partners, etc., uh, <clears throat> is actually the cause of the failure, all right? And once, once you find out what that is, because you can with the Queen of Swords, then the Queen of Swords promises you that you, you can virtually push everything through. So, uh, just to summarize all that with this with this reading <clears throat> for you, Aries, is that this is going to be quite of a challenge as a task. You know, again, this is a, a general reading, so you can choose to go for, but you can choose not to go for that particular challenge. All right, that could be the challenge of a big project in your career, or it could be a relationship that you will start with a person who is a challenging person because is a tempting offer. That could be a man offering you to uh, <clears throat> start a relationship. You know. Anyway. Uh, <clears throat> What the card points is that it will seem a very big challenge, something uh, overwhelming and something that probably you will think at the very start that you will not be able to do it and to bring it to the very end. But once you start and once you draw from that poignant experience from the past, you will see that it's not as tough as it seems. And as well, again, I want to stress that one out is that you need to allow the situations to unfold naturally. All right. Nothing that you can, uh, nothing that forced is going to bring a a good you know good future so that being said this was your weekly tarot reading may 21st to may 27th uh, 2018 for aries rising aries uh, <clears throat> sun and aries moon i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye